And in Commitment 2023, we're taking a closer look at the race for the mayor of Simpsonville. Aaron Baker sat down with the candidates to talk about why voters should choose them next month. Election Day is on November 7th, and on this year's ballot, the race for Simpsonville mayor. It's a nonpartisan race. Incumbent Paul Shoemaker is running against Warner Buzik and Janice Curtis. I spoke to the three candidates about their backgrounds, their positions on the issues affecting Simpsonville, and what's next for the city. I retired as a human resources director from Morgan Advanced Materials in Malden, South Carolina. And little did I know that a year later that I would uh, be the mayor of Simpsonville. I came to Greenville in 85 to manage Bennigan's on Haywood Road. Um, in 1991, I opened a chain called Stakeout that I ran for about 15 years. I owned the Stakeout stores in Greenville and in North Florida. I served as mayor in Simpsonville for four years prior to this uh, campaign. Three people are in the running for mayor of Simpsonville. Incumbent Paul Shoemaker says getting reelected would give him an opportunity to finish projects that are already underway. We're building a brand new municipal complex, three buildings, a full renovation of Simpsonville Park, an extension of the Swamp Rabbit Trail, and a downtown revitalization. And one of the primary reasons I'm running is to, to see those things through to their completion. Warner Buzik says an outsider's perspective is needed at City Hall. They destroyed City Park, which had memories for you know decades for families in Simpsonville, huge, beautiful trees. It, it, it's just unfathomable why they would do that to put a city hall. If they were going to build a city hall, why did they have to tear down City Park to do it? And the things that are going on in, in our city hall are just, uh, they've got to be changed. Former Simpsonville Mayor Janice Curtis says her focus will be listening to everyone. As mayor, I will have a true presence as I have in the past here in Simpsonville. I will work to do what's best for Simpsonville. I feel like as mayor, I have to have a pulse on what is going on in Simpsonville. The growth in Simpsonville and the traffic resulting from that growth is top of mind for all three candidates. One of the things that we're doing is we are doing a major realignment of how traffic flows in our downtown. This will make things flow smoother. Right now, if a tractor trailer comes to the corner at the clock tower, you can get stuck for three or four cycles of the light. And we have traffic that backs up for blocks and blocks when that happens. As far as development goes, I think that we need to pump the brakes on that right now. A lot of times uh, we have traffic lights that one, two, and if you're lucky, three cars can get through at a time, especially if they're making a left turn. So right now it's di very difficult to make a left turn in Simpsonville. I think the most important thing we could do is fix the traffic issues, whether we have to take over, whether we have to you know, issue bonds to fix the roads, whatever it is. Get the families home where they can spend time with their families and find some open spaces to build parks where the families can congregate. Early voting is taking place now, and Election Day is on Tuesday, November 7th. You'll find this profile along with other local races on the politics page on our website, wyff4.com.